Hey guys, uh, so it's been a long time since my last vid. I've uh, got a new place, I'm settled in, got a job. Uh, and now I'm ready to start doing some stuff again. So, uh, this is going to be a short little vid to um, show you what I'm working on. Um, I've currently got uh, 100 pounds of uh, blacksmith grade coal. And haven't started on my um, basket for the coals yet, but that'll be tomorrow, hopefully. But today, I am working on my bellows. B -L -O -S. Bellows. Yes. So, real quick, <sighs> this is it. Um, what I'm doing is attempting, no, what I'm doing is making a uh, box style forge. And let's see if I can crank this puppy around. Basically, I've got uh, four strips of uh, rubber. You can pick this stuff up in the plumbing section of your um, Home Depot, Lowe's, hardware store. And. I got a, the uh, thicker kind. I, there were two to choose from. I decided to go with a bit more stoutness. I don't know if it would matter, if it would matter either way, um, but this stuff works really good. Uh, and what I've done was I've braced it on one side and then it's left open to flap. Um, so the basic of the forge is going to be got two holes right here where the handle will go and I'll have this at first just sitting on the ground and I'm going to take these rods after I s smooth out the inside. Um, two of them, one to get over this uh, uh, compression box. I'll go more into that a little later. And two, having two points on a square. Oh yeah. On this square, um, this is going to be the actual air mover. It will go into the floor, or the um, bellows and push air up and down like so. I'm going to put some beeswax on the on the edges and all along the inside so there'll be as uh, little friction as possible. And yeah, so this will be attached to the handles. And then the handle I will move you know, up and down like that and the air will get sucked in through this hole that has a one-way valve on that side and it'll fill the chamber as the plunger, as the paddle, as the as that piece of wood will be moving down and fill that chamber with air and then it'll escape through this back hole w into this box. The reason for the box is I couldn't think of a way to to uh, well, to do it without this little box on the outside, it, 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 it basically needed to uh, shoot the air um, in a particular direction. This could be done with plumbing, uh, but I didn't want to go out and spend, you know, 20 more bucks in parts and fittings and then have to get them threaded, and it just seemed... A lot easier to make a little box. Yeah, this part looks a little rough. I cracked a board, had to make a new one, uh, didn't pay much attention to its length. But I'm going to clean it all up. And you're asking yourself, well, how well can wood contain air? Um, I'd ask myself the same question. And so I've got this this caulk here, it is um, Alix Fast Dry, um, Fast Dry Acryl Acrylic Latex Caulk, 
plus silicone. Uh, it's indoor, outdoor, waterproof seal, and it was uh, rather inexpensive, I think two bucks for this whole thing. And so, uh, I'll leave them apart out. Ah, yes! So then, once the air goes into this chamber, oh, yeah, so, paddle goes down, draws air in through that hole. Paddle goes back up, this little flap stops the air from escaping that hole and goes out the back hole. And so as the paddle comes up, it'll be pushing air in, not only into this container, um, but it'll also be pulling air up through this box as well. And I'm going to be putting that box on this side soon. Next. And so as the air moves into here, then went, I did get some uh, metal pipe, I think it's just um, iron, and it's going to go in there like that. I'm going to make some mounting brackets to kind of stabilize that, and it, it, it's just half inch um, iron pipe. The black is uh, like an oil coat or a wax coat, um, so that'll go in there. That box will be down there as well. So I'll get both um, both air flows from here and in through here, and then I'll have a pipe going out here that will attach itself uh, to the coal basket, and I'll also have a place to um, you know allow for clinkers and ash to to funnel out the bottom with another T connector. And the reason I went with this style forge was that the uh, traditional uh, well, w w when I think of a bellow, uh, it's the uh, you know kind that you see on Looney Tunes. They're in a sailboat. He pulls it out. And he's like, <laughs> and I'm thinking, well, that's that's not a, a real constant air supply. And I've got my forge out in the middle of the woods, so an an electric blower wouldn't do me any good. And I haven't found a squirrel cage. Uh, centrifugal crank blower yet. So I'm building this in the meantime um, and so far I'm having a blast. There, the, the wood that I'm using is pine. Um, I would not suggest it. This was leftover shelving and well maybe someone who knows a little bit more about woodworking could, could do just fine but a couple of my pieces have um, cracked and yeah, you know, this one snapped off. I've got a few more down there. Uh, I've I've been pre-drilling all the holes, but the pressure and you know so so if you're gonna go and buy the wood um, from from Lowe's or Home Depot, uh, you try to go for maybe like an all wood would work. I don't know. Um, so yeah, this is uh, I'm, I'm gonna be generous and say about 75% done um, after I get the the whole works put together uh, and before I go in and attach it to the forge I'll upload another video to hopefully uh, show you how much air this uh, can get because you know we're talking um, you know a foot by 10 inches by two feet um, so you, that much air moving through a half inch hole and it, I know what you're thinking, half inch hole, geez, this guy's not getting any air to his, uh, you know, to his coal at all. Well, that might be the case. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing, but it's incredibly fun, and yeah, so I'm going to finish this up, go upload that, and...